It's okay. Okay, surprisingly, you're like cuddling. What's happening? <laughs> Our bedtimes are normally a lot earlier, so anything that we do after 8 o'clock can't be held against us. I'm Alexander. My name's Orr. We own Lodge Bread Company in Culver City, California. It's a micro full service eatery focused on this bakery. Literally when we came up with it, we just said we wanted to serve bread and toast to people and that was it. And it kind of naturally matured and progressed to what it is now. The bread just basically decided our entire menu. We had to have a toast bar on it. We had to have multiple sides that came with bread. We ended up finally throwing sandwiches on the menu, which we were super proud of. We have pita on the menu now. Everything that's on our menu now is bread derived. We make dough every morning in house, in our bakery across the way. 100% organic, no shit flour, no funky commercial yeast. We're shaping some of our ancient grain right now. It's spelt. The type of technique that we use, it's, it's as much whole grain as possible. It's minimal mixing, not beating the dough up too much, not oxidizing the flour, allowing as much flavor to come through as possible, almost over hydrating it, adding a lot of water, shaping it softly with a few movements. Doing less and not fussing with it is, is tough. Or and I were both cooking at a little gastro pub in West Hollywood. He said, if you quit your job and want to open a place, I'll do it too. A week later, we started the business in his living room, Googling how to do it, and we had our DBA that day and went for it. I come from a Middle Eastern background, I'm Israeli, and you know, my father's Moroccan. I mean, that's why we started making chakshuka and, and things like the fat yeah. pita and the hummus plates. All right, so I'm gonna make the, the fat pita dish. It's a uh, veggie pita stuffed with some Romanesco, some really nice greens, some Calabrian chilies. We do a lot of veggie items here, so it only seemed right to do a veggie pita. So this is our uh, wood fire Romanesco. We're just heating it up right now a little bit in the wood oven. Right here we got some really nice uh, local baby lettuces, Calabrian chilies, a little bit of Malden sea salt, some uh, pickled onions. So we're just gonna add our, our Romanesco to our greens. A little bit of charmoula, almost like a, like a Middle Eastern salsa verde. Some olive oil, some lemon juice. That's our pita, it's gonna cool right here for a second. Top it off with some tahini. Put some chives on it. That's a fat pita. We were really starved for some singularity in what we were doing. And bread offered that and allowed us to get focused on one thing. It's also the easiest way for us to start something of our own and just do something that was simple. natural and, and simple. And Every neighborhood should have a bakery. Every neighborhood should have their own baker. Yesterday started off brilliant. Alan, Jesse, and Scott joined us for a lovely drink here. What's up, dudes? Jesse Barber is a famed Los Angeles chef. Scott Weingard is an amazing chef, slash punk rocker, slash just all around amazing person. Alan Craig is a partner of ours in the bakery, also our bakery manager. So this night's strictly sober, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> if it weren't for him, we'd go straight to bed, yeah. Yeah. He cracks the first beer always. Kids, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. In and in. In and in. Single file. All the way, all the way. We went to our favorite Oaxacan restaurant yesterday. Our first stop's gonna be Oaxaqueño, the little tiny Oaxacan place down the street. I have never been there. Oh, Your delicious. mind's gonna get blown. Jungle it's probably angels. the greatest family owned Oaxacan restaurant in LA. Hey, Alan, do you want the head of the table? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. <laughs> hey, 
Anything to drink to start off? Or are you guys okay? Yeah. Horchata. Horchata with Horchata. 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 Can I do a minute on It's one of those spots where anything they served us it was, just was the best. Yeah. The greatest salsa in LA. It's always hot as fuck. It is warm. And we ordered horchata with prickly pear ice cream in it. And then we went at it. We ordered mole negro, which we always get, enchiladas, tres carnes. The chili verde was strictly a Mexican dish, but they blow it out of the water. It's really, really yeah, good. It's unreal. And that big old diluta. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. Like the Oaxacan pizza. Super simple, Delicious. nice little strip of beef on top. It was rocking. A bite. Make me a bite. Can I feed you, though? Can I mama bring you? That's, that's the bite? Here. It's home cooked food, you know? Like your mama made it. It's awesome. Oh, gracias. Muchas, muchas gracias. Me gusta mucho. That's your dad? Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. We were so fucking parched. We wanted beer so bad. We were thirsty. We were really thirsty. And yeah. full. I wasn't. And that I headbutted full. Alan on the way out. I think. God, we haven't even drank anything yet. We've only had coffee. It was the horchata. <laughs> Get your little party caps on, please. Party caps. Anyways, we're going to Inglewood. If you haven't been there, you're in for a surprise. Three Weavers is this awesome brewery in Inglewood. It's kind of the go-to happy hour after work spot for all the dorks in the South Bay, which is us as well. It's run by brewmaster Alex, who is a great friend of ours. She threw so many damn beers at us. I don't even fucking know. Many different styles. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. We busted into those messengers. That citrusy messenger. I think what makes them really unique is they're not afraid to throw the funk in there. We ended up upstairs just because... We knew there was some jam, room and jam space up there because we've snuck up there before. God forbid there's a drum kit around. There was a drum kit and my natural inclination is to just jump on and bully people to play with me. Leaving Three Weavers, <laughs> shit got a little rowdy-ish. Oh, a case of beer! Yeah! Whoa. That's what we got home with. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. They gave us beer. You ended up sitting on a case of beer because Alex came right, with us. Right, right, right. <laughs> There's a Sorry. bottle going up my ass right now. <laughs> like, look at it. He's got an indentation! <laughs> <laughs> Our next stop was Hatchet Hall. It's fancy and glorious, and they treat us so well. At Hatchet Hall, we do new American food inspired by old American food using old American techniques. Alex sent me a text earlier. He's like, don't hit, don't hit us with too much food, so we're just going to completely fucking ruin them. Our amazing partners met us there to greet us with kisses and loves that we needed desperately. Remember little pancakes? Pancakes with salmon. Delicious whole grain pancakes. Asparagus was, oh God. So now every salad and crudo that we have, every small plate, proteins, and every vegetable that we do as well. The duck was unreal. We don't normally get meat, so it's like a kid when you give a kid too much sugar that you just, it freaks out. I think at one point, Alex, you were leaning back on your chair and your shoe hit Allie in the head. Oh! oh no, I'm going to the hospital, please. We didn't want to recover after the meal. We wanted to make matters worse, I think. And the perfect place to do that is the bar that's connected to Hatchet Hall, which is called Old Man Bar. The swanky Old Man Bar was promptly treated 
like a dive bar. That was a sight. That was Down a sight. Was soaking wet. It was wild. We never shot anyone a text that we are on our way. We barely got in the van. Let's go back. <laughs> Bakery. Uh, we'll meet you there. there. We'll meet you there. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, that's a big old pull. I don't remember cruising back here. <laughs> um, but it's down the street. When we got back to the bakery, all our friends were here. Fam was here. His father was here. Tearing it up. We made a... Potato shakshuka. Potato shakshuka, which was Abba thing. Pumas. Um, tabbouleh. Tabbouleh. Lots of fresh pita, roasted Romanesco. And then we cut up a bunch of bread and just threw it on the table. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for we fucking out. love you guys. Thank you everybody, we love everybody. Let's hey, smoke yeah. up, drink up. Let's drink up. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.